So here's see, five kickers. I'm looking to add heading into week 10 of the fantasy football season on waivers this week. The first guy's Tyler Bass of the Buffalo Bills. And once again, he had a good fantasy day with Bass. Saw him two weeks ago with 22 fantasy points. And today he had 14. He had 120 yard or a 30 yard or a 40 and five PATs. This Buffalo offense, they're scoring a lot of late. Allen, this was his best game in five, six weeks. For him, but Bass, he's getting opportunities to kick more. And now he's got a matchup in Arizona, an indoor stadium, obviously. So I like that matchup for him. And Bass, he can maybe get you double digits and points next week. So he's a guy I'm going to get. The second guy's Graham Gano with the New York Giants. It seems like every other week with him also, he's going to have a big fantasy game or not. And... This week he had 13 points versus the Washington football team. And now next week he versus Philly is Graham Gano, who gives up the nice most fantasy points to kick is Gano. Him and Bass, they're both out there in 95% of fantasy leagues. So you should definitely go out there and try to get him if you need a kicker, if someone's on by or not. So Gano, he'll have opportunities. The Giants and Philly in their week 7 matchup, it was actually a low scoring game surprisingly for both teams. 22-21, the Eagles won that one. But today, the Giants scored 23, and Gano had two field goals, three field goals, actually, and two PATs. So, Gano, go out there and get him. I like the matchup versus Philly. The next guy, next guy to add on this list is Kyim Fairman. He's a guy I said we should have started last week and pick him up as well when I was right about this one. 11 fantasy points for Fairbane, 30-yarder and a 50-yarder and three PATs. He's available in 68% of fantasy leagues, is Fairbane. So, he's got a good matchup again coming up. Today was an easy one versus Jacksonville. Now he goes to Cleveland. I could see that game being a field goal type of battle in Cleveland, especially if the weather ain't great in Week 10. So, Fairbane, like I said, he's available in a lot of leagues. Go out there and get him. The fourth kick is Mason Crosby of the Green Bay Packers. He's been off the radar the last few day, weeks to pick up and play. But he's coming off a good game here in week 9 with 11 fantasy points. He's Crosby. He's in a high-powered offense. He's going to get opportunities. Crosby, he was banged up, but he mounts back versus Frisco. Now with the 10 days off, he'll have rest. And now in week 10, he's got a good matchup for kickers versus the Jacksonville Jaguars, who give up the third most fantasy points to kickers. So Crosby, he's available in 75% of fantasy leagues, go out there and get him as the fourth option. The fifth and final guy to add a kicker at waiver wise, Brandon McManus. We saw him have a good game once again with 11 fantasy points in Atlanta this week. He's available in 77% of fantasy leagues, 67, I mean, percent of fantasy leagues. He had 11 points. McManus, you know, he's good for 40 to 50 yards. He's got a big leg. And now he goes to the new stadium in Vegas in Week 10. And it's a decent matchup for him. I think that game could be high scoring. We saw the Raiders and Chargers with a high scoring game this week. So this one could be too. So that's five kickers I'm looking to add on waivers heading into Week 10.